we built this new building uh, as an integral part of the hospital. So it allows us really to have a confluence of healthcare delivery, clinical education, and translational clinical research. So in particular to have the upper two floors focus on uh, basic research and then to be able to translate that into clinical trials in the lower two floors of the building funded by the Health Research Board. This building has really transformed the way we work here. We've always had good resources but actually now because our, we, we operate in a completely different way. So for example we've had a biobank here in Galway for any number of years but the way we operate this biobank has changed completely since we've moved into the new facility. We would have gotten a blood sample in the past and it would have taken a considerable amount of time for it to reach the laboratory and to be processed. But now we have a shoot system where the blood sample is transferred directly from theatre or from the breast clinic directly to our research laboratory. And within a couple of steps, that sample is given a code, is processed and makes its way into our biobank. So this means that the, the information we can get from the sample is much more robust that the samples we generate can be used for any number of years and no sample is wasted. We've been collecting blood and tissue from women with breast cancer for the last 25 years and we have a world-class biobank that's now housed in a world-class facility. This will allow us to do integrated molecular biology research with engineers, scientists and clinicians all working together to achieve personalised medicine programme for women with this disease. Mobile phone safety is a major concern um, and when you look at the literature you find that a lot of the studies that were completed in the, in the last 50 years are flawed in, in various different ways. The, the core weakness is that many of those studies were completed by engineers and physicists without enough clinical input into the study. So we have got funded funding from the European uh, Research Council to completely uh, re-examine these uh, tissue studies. Um, I suppose the key element in terms of securing funding was the support of the TRF. So through the TRF we have access to uh, tissue samples, we have access to expert clinicians in terms of analysing the data and we have access to the clinical research facility which will help us design and implement the studies. This facility is really exciting for me in that I direct a regenerative medicine programme which is an interest in um, translating stem cell research to clinical trials of unmet medical need. Uh, one clinical trial we're currently engaged in is the use of stem cells to try and preserve limbs in patients who have reduced blood flow to the leg, often as a result of diabetes. These patients will frequently require amputation and our goal is to use stem cells which are manufactured in our university and deliver them to the limb of the patient to try and preserve the limb and avoid amputation. Now that requires the facilities which are available to us in the LAM Institute and in the HRB Clinical Research Facility to allow us to do those types of clinical trials. The HRB uh, funded clinical research facility which occupies the two uh, lower floors within this building um, has transformed our ability to conduct clinical research. Prior to now our clinical research which had been very successful was invested within the existing clinical infrastructure within the hospital. We now have a purpose-built, dedicated facility which will allow us to increase the number of clinical trials that we can conduct, expand the scope of those trials, expand the number of collaborators that we can have and the overall ambition that we can deliver for the hospital, for the university and for the collective clinical research community. And another thing that really excites me about this building is the fact that it's located as a central and integral part of the hospital. So this allows us to expose um, students in all of the healthcare disciplines from medicine through nursing, speech and language occupational therapy. We're going to expose them during their clinical training to research because research is really uh, the identification of the treatments of the future and we want these young people to be excited and enthused by the alignment and marriage of clinical service with development of better clinical service through biomedical research.